Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another one of my testing and demoing new beauty products that I have discovered and today I'm going to be just talking about something that is completely unnecessary and extremely extremely luxurious and it's more of a luxury purchase item I'd say because it's very expensive however I did get my hands on one and today I'm going to be talking about it and that said item is the Christian Louboutin lipstick. You might have seen these if you're a big beauty fan like I am or you're into the whole luxury beauty items because this has been all over Instagram and ever since Louboutin launched these new makeup products and in particular the lipsticks, I have been pining for one for ages. So I was very lucky because my mother bought me one a few months ago now as a present and today I thought I would do a review in where I talk about it and my thoughts on it because I would never ever buy one of these lipsticks myself because this lipstick costs, wait for it, 70 pounds. 70 pounds for a lipstick, my gosh, like I thought the Tom Ford lipsticks were expensive at 38 pounds, but that's nothing in comparison to this. So today I'm going to be giving you some of my thoughts on this lipstick and do I think it's worth the price point and do I think it's worth splurging out on one of them if you wanted to get one. Now I think for me I am someone who likes to collect makeup because I just like having limited edition products. I've got lots of things that came out years ago that I've kept that are limited edition and I am a massive fan of Louboutin as a designer. I love his work and I love the things he's created so for me I'm very happy to have one in my collection. But the one I got is in the shade Lou Beach, which is a coral pink shade, and this is from the Silky Satin range. So let me open up the lipstick and unveil it to you. Here it is! So this is what the lipstick looks like. It is a beautiful gold packaged lipstick in this metallic gold hardware. It comes nestled in this really beautiful plush case and it's got a little box that it comes with and it's also got a little bag if you take this out as you probably can see it also comes with a little drawstring bag but here is the lipstick as you can see it also comes with this little tie so you can actually hang it up somewhere or maybe have it as a necklace although I don't necessarily think I would now if you can see this this lipstick is seriously impressive like this is makeup porn at its best. It's this really sharp pointed lipstick with this kind of gold studded hardware at the top and it looks ruthless like this is actually quite a sharp edge and it's really heavy as well this is a really solid heavy lipstick so if nothing else this could be a weapon of choice like no one's gonna screw with you in a dark night with one of these lipsticks so if nothing else this can be your weapon you know I love it. So I've just swatched this colour and as you probably can see it's a really beautiful opaque coral colour. What I hate with some coral shades is when they aren't intense and they look really translucent on the lips and you can still see like your natural colour coming through but this is a really beautiful opaque colour. It's very intense and it's a really pretty warm tone coral shade. So I did get this one because I really love coral pink lipsticks for this time of the year and I haven't really got anything in this colour. They have lots of different shades and different finishes. They have some matte lipsticks and they also have the satin lipsticks as well, the silky satin ones. And I believe they also have some sheer ones as well. But uh, to be honest, £70, I want pigment. I don't want sheer finishes. If I wanted a sheer lipstick, I'd toodle right on down to my local boots and get a sheer lipstick. I want colour. I'll just read you out what this says on the Selfridges website. It says, The Christian Louboutin's covetable silky satin lipstick offers a perfect alliance of luxurious colour, sensuous feel and superior wear. A complex of natural oils and seed butters help to effectively protect against dryness while coating the lips in an inviolable hue. Encased in the signature gold toned metal body inspired by the Middle Eastern antiques and the Art Deco movement, it makes for a truly striking addition to your current beauty collection. So it says that these lipsticks are formulated without paraben mineral oil, DEA or Falfate, I think that, that said. So, whatever Falfate is, I've never heard of that one before, but to be honest, for the price, I would expect it didn't have any parabens or mineral oils in it for that price because you're paying for a luxury lipstick. You want luxury products, ingredients. The packaging is very beautiful, it's very decadent. It is a little bit more extravagant. I mean, I wouldn't take this out in my bag for an everyday lipstick, but it's too pretty and I would be worried about getting it scratched up. But it certainly is a lovely, lovely lipstick and it does have a very good presentation, especially with the box that it comes in and also the little drawstring bag. So in that sense, it does make a nice gift as well because it does 
you don't have that presentation factor. And now I'm going to try this on my lips and show you what it looks like and then I'm going to give you some of my thoughts about how they feel on the lips because I've actually used this lipstick a couple of times before so I do know how they feel so I'm just going to apply this on the lips and show you what it looks like. Alright so I've just zoomed you in and I'm going to apply first a lip liner. The liner I'm using is more of an affordable one, it's a Kiko one and it's one of their Everlasting Colour lip liners and it's in the shade 407. By the way guys, if I get any comments about how I read the description of the lipstick on my phone, it read it back to me and I can also zoom in as well. So I read it a few times and then I read it back to you if any of you are wondering, because I do get those questions a lot. People ask, how do you write reply to comments or how do you type when you can't see? Technology guys, it's a wonderful thing. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the lipstick to my lips straight from the bullet because I'm just hardcore like that. But I'm like, I don't want to continue to use it. It's just too beautiful. I feel like I should just encase it in a glass case and get some armed guards to walk around it because it's so expensive but no we're just going to put it on the lips so i've just applied the lipstick and as you probably can see it's a really pretty corally pink shade now the pigmentation of this is really good I can't fault it for the pigmentation and it does still have a very soft texture on the lips however it does still feel a little bit like hard wearing so it doesn't feel completely glossy like some other lipsticks that I've used to be honest you can see a little bit of a shimmer on my lips as well but not too much it's not really shimmery and to be honest I don't like really shimmery lipsticks anyway I prefer them to have a little bit of a semi matte tone to them I mean if they are going to be sheer or they are going to be satin I'd rather them be a satin finish than a completely shimmery finish just because I tend to find I don't like metallic lipsticks very much but they do feel very comfortable on the lips as well like that was quite easy to apply and it feels like it's really soft on the lips and it doesn't feel drying at all and just glides over the lips quite easily. In terms of durability, they did last quite a while. They lasted for, I'd say about two and a half, maybe three hours before I had to touch them up. And to be honest, I tend to find that I have to touch up my lipstick quite a lot because I am hypoglycemic, so I have to drink a lot of water and fluids a lot of the time. And I also have to eat at regular intervals because I have low blood sugar. That is pretty normal with all my lipsticks, to be honest. That's just how they are for me because it's normal wear and tear for me I can never ever put on a lipstick and not have to put it on by the end of the day I always have to touch it up every couple of hours so I was expecting that and that was what happened but ultimately that's down to me not the lipstick now in terms of performance it did still feel really creamy and smooth on my lips however it did dry out a little bit throughout the day and I did notice it seemed to go a little bit drier as the day went on however it did not look any less pigmented it still looked really pretty on the lips and it still had a really nice silky finish to it it's just that it did feel a little bit different in texture throughout the day as I wore it on my lips I had to touch it up probably about three times that entire day it did start to wear for a little bit on the inner corners of my lips but as I said I'm used to that and I did have to touch it up it was pretty easy to touch up as well actually it's pretty easy to blend you can merge it in with a lip brush or you can just apply it straight from the bullet as I did but either way it looks great and you can build up the color as well so you can have it like this straight from the bullet or you could put it on with a lip brush in a little bit more of a smaller amount to get more of a sheer wash of coral on your lips if you wanted to do I think it's worth the money it depends on what you define as a luxury item do you consider a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick to be your limit or would you splurge out on something a little bit more extravagant? Are you someone who prefers to spend more money on skincare or, or makeup? Now for me, I'd say this is definitely a collector's item. It's definitely something that people would have if they are invested in buying high-end beauty brands and having more luxury and limited edition and exclusive products like I am. And I think for me, just to have one in my collection is enough because it, they're so beautiful and it's just like, I suppose, a coat of arms on my beauty badge I guess you know it's to say that I've got one of them in my collection and it's just something nice to have for me and it was a lovely gift as well my mum bought it for me and she spent 70 pounds on the lipstick for me so hell I'm really grateful that she did that the lipstick itself is really good in terms of its pigmentation its longevity and the way it feels on the lips it's a good quality lipstick it does perform very well for me personally I don't think I'd buy any more of these just because it's quite a big budget to spend on a lipstick and I use a lot of high-end brands that aren't quite as expensive as this 
However, I would say if you're looking at getting one, do get one because they are really good quality and I've been really impressed with this colour and I think it's really nice in terms of the way it looks on the lips. So I really do like it. I'd say it's worth the money just to get one just to have in your collection. It's a collector's item. It's something nice to have. So those are my thoughts on the Louboutin lipstick for £70. Let me know in my poll above, would you ever spend £70 on a lipstick? Also let me know in the comments if you've got any of these and what shade you have because that would be helpful to other people who are coming here to find my review. Let me know what shade you have and what you thought of it so we can all give our opinions on whatever shade we've got and I really hope you enjoyed it. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you'd like me to do more testings of higher end and more expensive beauty products in the future. Whenever I have one I'd be happy to do that. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!